Hi, my name is Chris Schock, or CJ. Um, I got numerous videos on YouTube and rcuvideos.com. <clears throat> um, just of me flying my planes, um, or the camera mounted to the slow stick for some aerial video, but I wanted to do something a little different today. I wanted to actually do something of, uh, of some use maybe to somebody. A uh, little informative video. Um, I've really gotten into uh, park jets, um, mainly building my own from plans uh, off of parkjets.com. Uh, they're free plans and uh, there's donations if you build the planes and like them. Uh, there's a ten dollar donation you can give to the person who designed it. Uh, but pretty much all the plans, um, which is not that bad, I mean, it's the canopies. Um, I wanted to go for a more scale uh, look to these uh, part jets uh, without breaking the bank. Um, I mean, granted, the styrofoam canopies, they're nice. You can get them to a nice shape, you know, not a whole lot of uh, manual labor involved some filing, trimming, cutting, you know. Um, and they look good. You paint them either black or white. Uh, but I, like I said, I wanted to go for a more, more scale look. So what I found, I didn't find, I heard about, um, someone using uh, two liter soda bottles to make clear plastic canopies. Uh, I thought that was just ingenious. I mean, without having to, you know, buy a big vacuum, I'm not sure the technical term for them are, but uh, those vacuum formers that suck down uh, you know, plastic onto a mold shaped like a canopy. And plus you don't have to go out and buy canopies or order them. Um, with a little, uh, little time and a little effort and uh, ingen ingenuity, you can construct your own clear plastic canopy uh, and then put a little hand carved pilot underneath. Like I said, these are, these are great. I mean, they're quick. Um, probably a little faster, not not so time consuming as plastic to two liter soda bottles, but um, it gives a better look, more scale, it's a lot more fun. I think I like I like messing around like that, so not a big deal for me. Um, what I did is just uh, I quick threw threw together a sample. It's not a perfect fit, and it's just in a scrap piece of uh, styrofoam. Uh, but you just take take this two liter soda bottle, try to stay clear of uh, the uh, inkjet printing on, on uh, one side of there. If you do end up getting the seam in the canopy, make sure the seam of the plastic bottle is down the center uh, of the canopy. But um, it's very easy to stay clear of, of both of those. Uh, just look for, there's, there's plenty of spots where you need to just get nice clean plastic. Um, so yeah, you just cut the top off, and uh, you're going to want to have a few few bottles on hand. Uh, there's going to be a lot, maybe a lot of trial and error. Um, and that just comes with, with practice. So there's no exact science. Every canopy is different, different width, different length, different height for different planes. So it's really hard to have like uh, a stencil, pre-made stencils made up because they're going to be different. Almost every single time they're going to be different. You'd have, you know, you'd have tons of stencils you'd have to uh, store. Uh, but, yeah, two liter store bottle, you can get a, so a two liter, you know, the grocery store when they're on sale, buck thirty, buck forty for a two liter. And you get to recycle a little bit of it, you know, um, in the models. But, you just go ahead and, uh, Draw out you know, the plan should have uh, what size, length, and, uh, and width of, of canopy. If it's if it's going to be like this, where the front and back of the canopy have the same shape, um, much easier to deal with. Or if you end up having like this F22 Raptor, the canopy actually stops. I don't know if you can see that stops the back, you know, it doesn't go all the way 
that has a cutoff point, which is not, not that difficult. You can make both equal uh, in length and just chop it off. Not a big deal. But you do have to make sure that the, uh, the back side is short because it needs to fit underneath the front piece of the canopy. You don't want the, the overlap to be facing the wind. You don't, you don't want that lip there because uh, it's going to act a kite, catch the wind, and possibly rip your canopy off. Um, but yeah, uh, so with this, you just take, once you have one cut and test fitted, you want to cut, you start from cut, uh, 75 with an exacto knife, uh, like a 45, sorry, 45 degree angle, maybe an eighth of an inch down, maybe a little more, all the way around. Just cut it at an angle outwards, and uh, what that's going to do is you're going to be able to stuff it, you know, get the front end. Not only is it going to sit down, but it's going to sit in. It's going to you're going to wedge this thing in there, and also the sides, the sides are going to wedge down in that 45 degree angle. Uh, and once it's all epoxied in there. It's not coming out. It's not coming out whatsoever. If you're using foam safe CA or just regular five minute epoxy, which I'm a big fan of just because the CA is a little more expensive. Um, I'll go get the big big tubes of of uh, epoxy. Um, so yeah, the, the back on this particular uh, shape is going to be the same length. And you want an eighth of an inch overlap. You want the, the, the front piece to overlap the back piece, minimum of an eighth of an inch. Now in doing so, after that's uh, all epoxy down, you have the front and the back end epoxied in there, you can go ahead and take either just regular CA or, uh, or epoxy and go along the seam to, just to seal it up, firm it up, uh, and you'll have a nice, nice stiff canopy. And then one thing I forgot to mention, um, I started to, and then I went off in some other direction. Take from one side, make sure it fits, trim it up, get it in there, take it off, lay it on another clean section, trace it, cut it out, test fit them, trim them, get them set, Boom in. You can take it a step further, like uh, I did in my F20 or F22 and my F15. Uh, is I hand carved some pilots out of the big one-inch uh, styrofoam. Just hand carved it. It took a little time, but I, I like the the little details. You know, if I can make it myself instead of buying it, um, I'll do so. You know, I like to be able to say, hey, you know, I made that made that on my own. Um, and then like the visor, I don't know if you can see the little guy here with the visor. Um, well, the visor is just a little piece of the uh, two liter soda bottle. And uh, cut that and I cut the, uh, this, this one for the F-22 I actually cut a little face mask, the oxygen mask, uh, glued that on and then I just take some Electrical wire, anything, anything that resembles a, an airline, air tube to go from the mouthpiece down. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's really simple. It's cheap. It just takes a little bit of your time, a little bit of creativity, um, and you can have a, a nice looking, uh, you know, accessory, a nice little canopy for your park jet. Magnet that sucker down, and you're all set to go. I'm working on a uh, F-117A Stealth right now, and it's got flat windows, um, flat panels, so you can't just use like, big sections like this, um, which is no big deal. And since I noticed that the, those windows are tinted, I went ahead and used a green soda bottle. Um, and I just, I just cut a big section out of it, nice clean area. And uh, use the hair dryer and try to hold it taut and stiff. Uh, try to flatten out, get, get some of that curve out of there as much as possible without melting it. And uh, laid my uh, window frames down, 
cut it out, glue them in, thing looks great. Um, I'll have uh, some finished uh, video of, of the whole F-117 shortly. Um, and with that, I hope this was of uh, use to someone. Uh, I know it was to me. Um, so uh, until next time, take care. Keep your thumbs on the sticks and eyes in the skies. Good flying. See ya.